Sag Town. What up, though? Welcome back to another episode for LLC TV. I appreciate you all for joining. Um, back again in the office. Um, what's today? Thursday? Thursday night. Just got back from a football practice with my, my young dogs, my squad. Uh, I got a new car yesterday. Uh, baby appointment was yesterday. Kids doing fine. So a lot's going on, a lot's going on. I did finally get some packages that I wanted to show you all. Like I said, I had a haul to kind of go through. So make sure um, if you uh, enjoy the content that you like, um, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you. Um, I am not uploading as much as I would like, but I'm trying to get pump out at least like two videos a week. Um, and if you know you like and you comment and subscribe, and I'll know that you want more content and I'll be sure to bring you more content. Uh, I'm your host, of course, JT, uh, JTown32 on the social sites. That's Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me. I would prefer that you follow Limitless Lifestyle Crew on Instagram and visit our webpage at LimitlessLifestyleCrew.com. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, um, I did say on my last video that I had some stuff that I wanted to kind of go over with you all as far as some hiccups. Um, just a couple things came in the mail for me. Um, one being this. Um, this is a big old poster, man. Some things came in the mail for me, uh, this week. I haven't even, I know what this poster is, but I haven't opened it all the way just yet. And I saw this, man, you know, when you on Instagram and then you search stuff and you like certain pictures, uh, it's just weird and it's always weird how they you know provide you with information or provide you with stuff that they know you would buy so I had seen this picture of LeBron LeBron is my dog and this is basically the four LeBrons LeBron in Cleveland both times him in Miami as well as him in uh, and that's of course not sticking as well as him in uh, LA and I thought it was a dope poster. It was cheap. I think it was like probably like fifteen dollars or something like that. So I just ordered it. Now the picture quality on here isn't the greatest. I can already tell you that, but I still think it's a dope picture. Um, especially, you know, just something to add to to my office space. Um, I do have LeBron's in here um, as well. So I went ahead and copped it. Um, I'm going to put it on the wall, probably on this back wall here. I don't want to put it over the desk here, but yeah, this is something cool. So this is something that I'm going to add. It's just a nice LeBron poster. It's big. It's pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it was. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to hang this up in the office space. Um, I'll do that probably tonight, honestly. Uh, hang it up up here uh so i got some jordan i got some lebron um trying to see what else maybe i want to grab something else but that is one of my pickups i like it i like the poster like i said it's bigger than i thought it was going to be but overall i like the poster i did also pick up an article of clothing and this is from i think this is clothing if i'm not mistaken Let's see. I ordered this from someone as well on Instagram. I buy a lot of stuff off Instagram because it just feels more personal. Like if I like it and I see it and it's cheaper, I just get it right off Instagram, you know? So I bought a vintage tie dye New York Yankee shirt. And let me let me let you know exactly where this is from because I don't think it's right to just buy it and not have any information at all. I do have some information of where I got it from. Shipment. 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 I actually received something else from NetMag. NetMagnetism. 
Um, you know, I've talked about them before. Uh, with net magnetism, they usually do. They do. You probably can't see it right now, but um, I have like these shoes. And let's see. Uh, like when I do these, I get these from net magnetism. Um, he just does like $11 baffles, um, and you can kind of just, you know, pick what you like as far as the raffle. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I've done countless raffles. I've won from him one time. Um, I've placed, I've placed quite a bit. I think I have pretty much all of the, like the Lego sets except for the new versions that he has, but I've won once, and I won the raffle for the Union... The Union Jordan ones, right? And I was so upset because I guess he didn't have a ten, but the ten was listed that he did have a ten and he didn't have a ten. And I wanted it in my size. I didn't want a ten and a half. I can fit a ten and a half, but I didn't want a ten and a half. I can fit a nine and a half. I didn't want a nine and a half. It was so stupid of me. I just took the payout, which is an awesome thing that he does. He gives you the payout if he doesn't have it. But then you got to think about it, right? With the price jumping everything right now, that payout wasn't anything. Like I missed out, easily missed out on about three hundred dollars with the payout. So that part sucks, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I did win, and it's not like he left me empty-handed. I'm cool with that. Although, if you are watching that, Matt, I would love for you to be able to uh, get me those Jordan One Unions in my size. Anyway. I got this uh, this shirt, this tie-dye Yankee shirt from, it's called, I think it's In Way Over Your Head, but this is, as you see, this is a vintage Yankee shirt, vintage Yankees champ shirt, 1996, I believe, yep, so, 96 American League Eastern Division champs, and these shirts, this looks kind of big for me. Uh, I wear, a, it depends really on the shirt, right? I wear a medium, but I can wear a large too. This is a large. Honestly, it looks kind of big. I can still wear it, so I'm not going to trip. Uh, you know, your boy got a baby on the way, so uh, I'm not going to lie and say I haven't picked up any weight. I haven't like gotten fat or anything, but I'm definitely heavier than I was before. So... It's called In Way Over Your Head, and you should follow him on Instagram. I follow him. In Way Over Your Head is just a clothing brand. I don't even know how I really found out about him. I follow a lot of like just smaller clothing brands and things like that on the internet. And then if you are really into like streetwear, you kind of find yourself going down all types of uh, different different routes. But In Way Over Your Head got me this. I like it. I'll probably wear it very soon. Probably wear it very soon. Maybe even this weekend. It's a three-day weekend. I'm grateful for that work's been a, a you know, a you know what. And then finally, my order from Network came in, and this was a fifty-dollar. A $50 figure, and they, you can, as you can see, this is all wrapped up. And I was so worried because I guess FedEx dropped it off at the office um, at the place I get it delivered, but they never do that. So I was worried. I'm like, Well, did they send my stuff? And he's like, Well, why are you worried? I paid $50 for it one, and two is reselling for more than $50. So, yeah. So I got this uh, Vinyl Art Spongebob Kid Robot, and I think this was limited. Sorry that reflection is on there. This was a limited piece, so there weren't many Spongebob Kid Robot, as you see. And this is this is a lime green or a sea sponge, that's what they call it. So it's actually a real sponge. That's dope. I don't know anything about it. I just knew that it was limited, so I went for it on network. I order a few things off network. I enter all their raffles. So that's a real sponge. It's dope. So this is pretty big, man. It's a 20 year anniversary 
edition, but this is a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Times Kid Robot figure. Uh, like I said, I'm probably not going to keep it, um, just being honest. It is uh, selling for about $100 over over the retail piece for it. So that right there lets me know that I don't have to necessarily, necessarily keep it. Anywho, thanks to Network for looking out. All right, so those are my haul pickups. Um, small haul, but I like to you know share with you guys the things that I pick up. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. Like I said, if you like this content, please subscribe, please share. Um, like I said, I do sell things, so if you see something that you want to buy, if the price is right and I really didn't buy for the personal, it can leave. I got some Supreme stuff that is uh, coming in. Um, looking forward to that. And this weekend, the Obsidian Jordan ones come out. And it is not going to be easy. Um, while this isn't a like, it's not a like a super hard shoe. It is going to be a GR. It's still not going to be easy. It is uh, one of the prettiest Jordan ones that is coming out this year. That that will release this year. So for me, I'm definitely uh, looking to get a few pair. Uh, definitely one for the personal. Uh, I'm a Carolina fan, basketball fan through and through. So hopefully I. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have secured some pairs. Um, it ain't easy no more, like I said. So anyway, I appreciate y'all for joining. This is Limitless Lifestyle Crew. Uh, please visit Limitless Lifestyle Crew on Instagram as well as visit our webpage at limitlesslifestylecrew.com. I got all types of stuff on there. You know, I talk sports, I talk fashion, I talk sneakers, I talk toys and figures. I talk whatever y'all want to talk about. So make sure you hit it up. I got some blog posts for real life shit going on and everything that you need. Visit the web page. I'm your host JT, JTown32. If you want to follow me on the social sites, like, share, subscribe. What up though? Let's get it.